Okay, our function for question number 9 is f of x equals to x times square root of 8 minus x to the second power. And to take the derivative of this, we are going to use the product rule because here we have 8 times of the square root. And the product rule says we are going to keep the first function, which is x, multiplied by the derivative of the second. And the derivative of the square root of something is just that 1 over 2 square root of whatever the same thing inside which is 8 minus x to the second power. And you should always check to see if there's anything you want to multiply by the chain rule. Look for the inside. Derivative of 8 minus x to the second power, derivative of 8 is 0, but the derivative of negative x to the second power is negative, well, that's 2x. This is the chain rule, okay? Derivative of the inside. And now we are going to multiply, um, we are going to add the second function which is just square root of 8 minus x to the second power and multiply by the derivative of the first one. The derivative of x is just 1, so I will just multiply by 1. So it looks like this. And that's the calculus step. And let's see if there's anything that we can cancel or anything that we can simplify. As I notice, the 2 right here cancel out with the 2 right here. Okay? And um, here this x times this x is x squared, but it's negative. So on the top I have negative x squared. Over the bottom we have square root of 8 minus x squared. And for the second part we are adding square root of 8 minus x squared. Because square root of 8 minus x squared is, uh, times 1 is just the same thing right here. And now, as you can see that this is now one of the answer choices. And the reason is being is because we have to combine eight terms. We are, going, we are going to combine fractions. I mean, we need to have the same denominator. And the, denom the denominator is this. So I will have to multiply by the second part by square root of 8 minus x squared on the bottom and also multiply by square root of 8 minus x squared on the top. Now, here we have the first one, negative x squared over square root of 8 minus x squared. And for the second one, I have plus. And notice that the top right here, um, the square root, the insides are the same, so the square root pretty much cancel each other. So I have 8 minus x squared on the top. Over the bottom is the same, square root of 8 minus x squared. And when the bottom are the same, I can just write them as uh, one fraction, 8 minus x squared. And now I just need to combine terms on the top. I have negative x squared combined with, this is plus by the way, so negative x squared plus negative x squared is negative 2x squared. And then I have the positive 8, so plus 8 right here. That's pretty much all we have. Now let's see, this one, it's the same as the first one. Uh, even though the word is different, but like you see that a minus x, 8 minus 2x squared, it's the same as negative 2x squared plus 8. So the answer is A, right here. They are the same.